What's up guys? If you're anything like me, you want to learn guitar and put in no effort at all, but still be widely respected by your peers and family. Which is why you're here. Today is a very special broadcast. This is my first broadcast ever. Like at all. Never even done anything else on YouTube regardless of whether it was guitar or not. So I thought it'd be pretty symbolic, because I'm a very symbolic person, love me some symbols and some metaphors, to do the first song I learned for the first broadcast I did, and that is Honey Bee by Steam Powered Giraffe. It's not well known, there are very little views, even fewer um, tutorials, which is truly a shame. It's such a pretty song with just these haunting vocals, but it's really a beautiful, sad song. Down to business! The song compose is composed. Excuse me, grammar today. Ugh. The song is composed of a picking pattern that serves as the intro, and after that, there's chords for the verses and chorus. And I believe there's like five chords. It's a very simple song. It took me about a day to learn. It's some um, standard tuning. E A D G B E but with capo on first fret. I have my strap caught up in that. Let me try that again. I just have it on wrong. There, much better. Um, to business. I'm going to teach you guys the picking pattern first, then the chords. The Sorry if I'm impatient. It's like my tenth take of this video. It's a heavy as the crown. Your first picking pattern is going to be, let me get all situated, it's going to be in a C, Seuss 4, I believe, something like that. In case you don't already know the C, it's a really nice chord, especially whenever you have a capo. You want your index finger on B string first fret, your ring finger on, not G string, but um, A, E, D, um, on the D string second fret. And finally, your ring finger on the A string third fret. So it just sounds something like this when we play it. Oh, and um, use your thumb to deaden the low E string. So it just sounds something like this. But notice there's no no E string. So that's your beginning chord for the picking pattern. But you're gonna want to move your pinky finger, as you can see, to the high E string in the third fret. Give your ring finger some company. And so the first picking pattern is, and that's going to be that chord I just showed you. And you're going to go A G G B E B E B. And then you kick it down. I believe it's an E, but basically you remove your pointer and pinky fingers completely out of the equation and slide your ring finger, same string, back to the second fret. So that's going to be middle finger on the D string 2nd fret and ring finger on the um, the A string of that same fret. And that's A, D, G, B, G, B, G. Again, feel free to practice this pause at any time. My, I'm trying to keep my face just as pretty so that, you know, whenever you pause it, you can just look at me. Then you want to kick it up. I believe it's an A minor. I'm pretty sure that's right, actually, but we're not positive yet. So you're gonna want your point or your middle finger. Sorry, does not move. The ring finger goes down to the G string on the second fret, and finally, index finger goes to B string first fret. So the chord sounds like this: sad minor, all that jazz. Rain out. Looks sad. This video is gonna suck. My camera has no saturation or contrast. Whenever I turn it up, the shadows just look darker. Kind of sucks. And that's going to be the exact same string pattern as the E. So that would be A, D, G, B, B, G, B, G. So, so far it's... And then finally, you wrap it all up by going back to a C. That's 
That's the whole picking pattern. That's the entire intro. Very, very simple. You repeat that three times. Count them three. If you do it less, I'm going to find you because this song deserves respect. After that, on the third time you hit that C, you go into the chord. Again, make sure that your thumb is deadening the, um, the low E because otherwise it sounds weird. The um, strumming pattern is the same throughout the song except for the chorus. Um, so it's down, down, up, up, down, up. That's down, down, up, up, down, up. So it's. And after that, that was the first part. You want a bar. With your index finger, this first fret. Your pinky finger goes right here, that guy. So I guess, oh, third fret of the A string. And your ring finger goes third fret of the low E string. So the chord looks like this. It looks like I'm hitting something with this. I promise you I'm not. I'm just resting it because it's hard to keep it up and I don't want to flip off my audience. That's, that's not even cool. That one you don't have to deaden any strings. It's just. And it's the same um, strumming pattern. only repeated twice whereas the um, C is repeated four times and that's the verse all that jazz um, and then you jump to the bridge I suppose I, th I think that's the bridge which is some super complicated chord and, well it sounds super complicated I don't know the name but really I just dropped my pick it, it's very simple looking. You go index finger on the B string, ring finger, on, or index finger B string first fret, ring finger G string second fret. Your pinky is going to go right there on the D string third fret, and your ring finger finally goes A string third fret. Now you can hold down the first fret of the E string, that's how the chord's supposed to be played with your thumb, but I can't do that, so I'm doubting you can, but, or, and if you don't, um, if you don't deaden it with your thumb, or if you don't fret it with your thumb, just deaden it, while you practice that chord, I'm going to get my pick. There we go. Hope you practiced. So. Sounds kind of minory, kind of sad. So it goes. Same, same strumming pattern, but after it, you just go down up, so it's. Then you jump to a C. Back up to that chord that I think we're just going to call. It's called a Y, because. Why not? You stop right there. And then this chord, they don't have it in any tabs. I've just looked at like live performances and the way other people play it. And it goes, it's just like that Y chord, but you take off your ring and pinky fingers. So it's just middle finger is on the G string second fret and index finger is on the B string first fret. So you just pull that once and it starts at the D string. And you just play that the bottom four strings. Oh, oh, oh. And you go back to a Y chord, play the whole thing. Y. Oh, that was bad, excuse me. Y, I, I. So together, the bridge sounds like. And now finally, everybody's favorite part of every song, hopefully, the chorus. God, look at my fingers. 
That's going to be the Y chord, which again, feel free to look up the name, comment it if you like, because God knows I don't know it. You just do the same strumming pattern from the chorus, which is but you only repeat it once for each chord. So you go back to the Y chord. And I'm obviously playing this off time. I'll play it in time after I show it to you. Go down to a C chord, which we learned earlier. Down to an E chord, which we learned earlier. I believe it's an E. Either way, it's the one from the picking pattern. And then the A minor, which is also in the picking pattern. And if you need reference, I'm not going to explain how to fret it again. Just go back earlier in the video. So the chorus sounds like... Oh, excuse me. God, unprofessional today. Again, first, first one, bear with me. the chorus you like I showed you the strumming pattern just do it twice it should sound the exact same thing but twofold um I think that's actually the whole song no no cuz at the end they do the hello goodbye it was nice to know you which you should be able to figure out yourself but if you can't I'm gonna show it to you right here hidden track go to Y code hello goodbye it was nice to know and that can just be down, 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 or you could do the normal. Then you drop down to a C. And then you just go back up to a Y chord. And then... And it's basically just Y chord, C chord, Y chord, C chord, over and over and over again. Hello, goodbye, it was nice to know you I will find myself without you That I will That I will No, I let myself go And you just repeat it. That's the whole song. Wow, 13 whole minutes. Too, too long. I'll try to shave it off so it's easier to listen to. Um, Subscribe, please. The more, the better. Comment constructive criticism or just normal criticism honestly i i don't really care I'm not gonna delete your hate comments i'll let everybody else do that hearts sorry about being so unprofessional good luck in your guitar endeavors and if you ever need a song leave it in the comments and i will do my very best um peace out hamish